Yeah. So, um, this right here is the final chapter of this shit, I guess. Um, all these videos have been cut. I've noticed every video I've done today has been shorted or cut or something. Now, the main focus of what brought these whole series of videos up was the fact that they gave us a $300 stimulus package. I'm sorry. What was it, up to 600 you could have got? And the average, everybody I know got around 300, 315, 318, 320, 340, some shit like that. Here in California, they gave me a $316 check at the time when gas was $4.43 a gallon. Where do you think my stimulus package went? So I come to this one conclusion. If you gave the American people the money, they would put it in the banks. Now, another thing that's pissing me off is I got this telephone. This telephone is the exact same phone I got from Singular. When I first signed up with Singular. Right? No, wait a minute. I wasn't with Singular. I was with AT&T. My bad. I'm with AT&T. And they were migrating us to Singular. So... I'm like, damn, I got to migrate, I might as well migrate anyway. I had to migrate. I was still under contract with AT&T, right? I was told that I had to migrate my service to Singular. Once I migrated, they said I canceled my um, contract, early termination, right? I'm like, I'm going to your company, you're changing your company. How's that early termination? I argued, complained about it. They said it's all said and done. I owe nothing. All of a sudden, last week, I get a phone call. Because, you know, we're all in financial crisis right now. Everybody's calling in their money. I owe this phone bill $246. And part of that is early cancellation. $246 for what? Because you had an AT&T phone bill, the lady said, that you never paid. I told the lady, I'm with AT&T right now. And then I'm like, that's fucked up. You motherfuckers. Oh, oh, oh. Why when they call you, and you know it ain't their fault, and you cuss, they nut up on you like, you got to give me this money or I'm going to beat your ass. This is for the bill collectors in all this Obama Ain't God video series. Oh, I said Obama Ain't God. I'm sorry. The video is He Ain't God. These people call me telling me I owe $240-something. And I'm like, why? Well, you owed $163 on the phone bill for early cancellation and some partial bill or something when I migrated. To the other company which is overseeing AT&T who switched from AT&T to Singular which is now switched from Singular back to fucking AT&T now instead of a hundred and sixty something dollars I owe two hundred some dollars and now my voice is getting motherfucking louder the decibels are actually hurting my own fucking ears so now they're saying I need to pay this money. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. I call the people. And I'm like, you need to check into this. I was told that this was not in factor. This was paid. Everything's done. And then the lady calls me back and says, oh, it shows because you had a previous account. This isn't the same account. The same motherfucking company. I've been paying the same bill for six years. Seven years? It was 2005, yeah. Five years? I don't even know what this was. Years? What the fuck? I'm stupid all of a sudden. You know, it's been years. And they want their money. The American government has given everybody money. And all of a sudden, all these people who want money are squeezing all the people who don't have money for money that I don't owe them no motherfucking money. The lady says, you need to find a payment plan. 
to pay you motherfuckers $200 on a $164 phone bill when I transferred to a different department in your company? That's motherfucking bullshit. Obama can't fix that. I owe the money. I'm a deadbeat. They're going to put this on my credit report. I'm already at a corrected credit agency for two hundred and sixty something dollars on a hundred and uh, two hundred and forty something dollars on a hundred and sixty dollar bill for a company I still pay every month for a service that I still I'm not even under contract no more and I still got my service. So should I call them right now, push six one one, and tell them to exonerate this bill? Don't give me a new phone. And I'll keep on being your slave for another two years to use the fucking number. Obama can't fix that. Americans have been fucked, prodded, tested, mistreated, misused, misled. Obama can't fix that. They gave me a stimulus package at a time where it was a non-factor. They gave you that money so you can afford gas in your car to fuel what little economy they had left. And now, right now, at the end of President Bush's reign as Grand Supreme Ruler of Earth, they're going to give the money to the bankers. I explained in this series of videos how they could manipulate us with control. Give us the fucking money and we put it back in the system. Then the man says, what about Obama's plans to tax people who make $200,000 or more a year? If you give everybody $350,000, President of Barack Obama, you will get them to pay taxes on that money for two years at least. Or they'll be broke next year, less than $200,000 and won't be able to pay the taxes on it again. But any way you put it, you gave every American who was of a certain age $350,000 they would not be able not to pay taxes on $200,000 of that. The whole purpose of the plan in which I put forth is so America gets two lump sums out of that fucking $350,000 they gave you. No way you should be broke in this day and time and not have $200,000 next year if the government gave you $350,000 a year previous. Everything in my plan works and fulfills every need of anything that American asked for. Americans asked for a chance to survive. Homestead this motherfucker. Let us homestead the property we have right now so we can pay you your yearly property taxes, President Obama. Give us this $350,000 American stimulus package, Mr. President Obama, and we can fix America. The companies that will survive are the companies whose products make Americans happy. If the automotive industry don't survive, that's not our fault. We all got money to feed the system. Those who will survive if the American people had the money are those best served where the money spent. I can talk and babble out the side of my head and make no sense at all to nobody. But when I say things that make sense, my videos get cut, they be all choppy, look like I'm doing a robot making a comedy video. Please, I know when I'm saying the right things because my videos don't play. I know when I'm saying the wrong things or being ignorant and or stupid when everyone can watch the video and tell how dumb I actually can be. What man will belittle himself in the middle of making himself one of the greatest people of all time? Someone who is not full of themselves, but knowing that there is a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. There is hope for our society. <laughs> Can't even speak. Hope for our society. Beer break. Uh. Hope for our society, knowing that we can do better for every American. And yeah, I may joke about an American ID card with $350,000 on it, but is that so far-fetched that it could not work to rebuild our economy? How stupid can I be if I can say this last word to you? You've been too.